Welcome back to another video. I'm Rocket. Tell the viewers what today is. Sunday. Wow. Well, 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 that went down like a sack of spots. It's race day, Rocket. It's yeah. race day. We are back racing. So it's going to be the first mountain bike XC race of 2023. The beard is shaved. The legs are trimmed. I tell you what, after not racing for three weeks, the leg hair had gone rogue. I was starting to look a little bit like the wife. You can't say that. <laughs> but I'm about to have the pre-race meal because the race is at 11.30 this morning, so I'm having oats for breakfast. What's this champion having? I don't know yet. Don't know? Probably a fry up for this athlete. I mean, look, where's that cupcake you've got? Oh, in there. Look at this cupcake Sarah's got. That we're gonna share. No, 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 I'm eating healthy now. Oh my oh, days, so that is outrageous. But I went and done a practice lap at the course yesterday, survived, which is good. It's a local race, the Gorick um, Spring Series, XC Spring Series. It is a tricky little course, tight, twisty. It's going to be full on, absolutely no rest anywhere. Some naughty little climbs, a tricky like A, B section, deciding what way is faster. It's going to be full gas as expected. Rocket, are you excited? Buzzing. She cannot wait to be back at the races. Yeah, she, yeah. she ain't exactly buzzing, but today's the day for the yeehaw. Now, in all honesty, I've got zero expectations as long as I stay in one piece. Look, I've already got, that looks a bit pathetic, doesn't it? <laughs> but I've got a finger injury, so not ideal. God. What? What, that one finger's gonna throw you out? Oh. Yeah, that is gonna throw me out. But we're gonna have breakfast, get down there, and then full gas. They are, we are signed on for the first XC race of the season. Lucky number 871. Is this a lucky number to get a yeehaw? That is good for your nice orange board. That suits. Oh, not allowed to say that. We are close to the action here, the old van. Look at that. The rockets, I hope no one crashes, it's, it's, it's Trisha to transit, but I'm going to pass you over to the camera lady, she's got a coffee, dad's going to be on camera duty as well. I have told the rocket, rocket pay attention, she needs to be darting about, running today, getting the footage because I won't have the camera on the bike because my admin's been poor and I haven't got a camera for my mountain bike yet, so are you going to be fast feet? <laughs> Fast feet rocket. I don't mind George. Running about getting footage of me going doof, doof, doof. and I've also entered the sport category. The Mossa boys were trying to convince me to enter expert, but that is out of my level. So four laps today. It's gonna hurt. Here he is, the main man with the signature beanie on as usual. And Dad was meant to be racing today, but conveniently <laughs> Forgot his shoes. What are the chances? He's gone up into uh, the super vets category. That means they're super fast. It doesn't mean they're super old. <laughs> He's going for the win today. So instead, you're going to be graced with dad cam again. Dad's going to be on commentary duties. So I apologize for anything he does say. Cool, they're going fast. Here he is, today's competition <laughs> that was trying to convince me to not race in his category. He's, look, is, is he shaved the legs? Shaved oh, <laughs> that is aero and fast. We've got Mr. Mossa TV here as well, who's getting the content, the dog content. Why are you not racing today, Mr. Mossa TV? Just um, on the other side of the tape today, mate, on the camera, mate. On camera, you Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm crossing over to the road. I'm doing the opposite of you, You're mate. doing fully road? Yeah, fully road, yeah. No. Ooh, Mossa TV going full, full yeah, road. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be back. Camera lady really needs to up her rig. Look at this. Oh, yeah. She can't handle the big one, can you, Rocket? She can't handle a big one. Got his tiddly little GoPro to deal with. The full motlet skin suits on. Mossa mean business. Definitely. Any words of wisdom, Ryan? You should be an expert. Oh. <laughs> point and shoot, point and shoot. Right, Rocket. Yep. Pray for me. 
So here we go then. Uh, we've got the vets lining up here. Mr. Welcome, Mark Taylor, riding to the GS, Ryan there, and there's Giorgio there that decided that um, he didn't have a big enough pair to do the elites and uh, was going to do the sport race but uh, that's a little bit unfair actually because I did actually say he didn't better start off on the sport and he's got his new steam there as well so he's got a brand new bike full suspension for the first time so after his last little uh, mountain bike trip out where he broke his wrist as some of you probably remember so it's just like easing his way back into it again So here we go, it's the start of sport. Giorgio's first man in bike and he's got the lead slingshot already. No messing around there. Go on boys. And that's looking pretty big field there. And through they go. So he's got the whole shot there. Can he hang on to it? Just seen the experts come through. There should be around about a minute gap, I would think. Um, don't know whether Giorgio's still out the front there. It's a twisty tight sort of circuit. Um, it's the kind of circuit that he knows he needs to improve on as well. So this is the Gorex, they call it area 51. Go on, Giorgio. Oh wow, he's got a pretty good lead there, hasn't he actually? So, um, wow, well, new bike. Well done. Well done guys, well done Ryan. Yeah, looking good. 20 seconds to the back of the elite, 20 seconds. Come on, let's go. Up, 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 up. Good lad, looking good. So that's the gap he's got there. So he's pulled out. Um, Not too bad. About 20 seconds, Ryan. 20 seconds. Hold on. Yeah, nice. Well done. 20 seconds. So uh, this is second place coming through here. I think Ryan Keynes is in, in third. So um, yeah, so that's it's, it's bit, um, I think I'm. I think I am a little bit surprised actually. It's a testament to how um, well done guys, well done Ryan. So real testament actually to how hard he's been training. I obviously didn't realise, and uh, he really is going well on that full suspension bike as well. So uh, money well invested there. He's obviously really enjoying that. He's actually looking much much better as well. Go on, Wally. All the way. Well done, George. So here we go then. Giorgio still got the lead. Nice. Looking good. Yeah, come on. Let's nail it. Yeah, lovely flow. Looking good. Uh, he's pulled out the gap, I think, there. So second place man's pulled a bit of a gap as well. Ryan's just fallen off the back a little bit, I think. But, uh, yeah. yeah, he's pulled a bit of a gap there now. And there's Ryan over there through the woods, so. Stay with the wheel, Ryan, stay with the wheel. Come on got that on video for you <laughs> <laughs> love it <laughs> Just watch here, uh, waiting for um, Giorgio to come through. So uh, it's probably quite a steep, probably doesn't look very steep, but it's um, quite a steep uh, downhill. 
and just want to just see how George is doing on his techers uh, skills which uh, he moans about um, in the cyclocross season so I uh, want to see whether that's um, uh, honing out on, on the mountain bike side I don't know it's only his first race back but um, if you can smooth out these skills so here he comes down now so yeah nice come on let's go Yeah, nice. Work hard to try and catch that gap up, George. Come on. Let's go get them. Big, big glass lap. Come on. Cycling legend himself there, Mr. Mossa. Uh, and uh, so second legend, Mr. Lee Mead. What is he doing playing in the woods there? There he is. Uh, they're all hiding in the woods today. And uh, there's the rascal, tucked away in the woods just there, look. Yeah, nice and smooth. Float the bike, float it. Yes. Yeah, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Float the bike across the routes, float it. Yeah, nice, good speed. Finish it off, well done. Just headed back over here. The legend himself, Paul Wellicombe, always gives value for money around this part. There he goes. No one faster than him. Wee Willy! And again, keeps it up. So many have gone down on that corner. Ah. Always gives uh, value for money, does Welly around there. Well done, George. Well done, George. Getting ready for the e -ha. So here we go then. There he is, Giorgio. Last little bits. Just got to put the finishing touches to this to get across the line. And I think this is going to be his first Garic win. And I'm one very, very proud dad. We're back on the podium again. Yeehaw, as the rocket won't do it. I think this is it. This is it for the win. Yeehaw. There you are. Well done. Whoa. That was so much harder than cross. <laughs> Honestly, Jesus. What's that? Uh, Only 10 miles. Really? Well done. You're looking good. The bike was looking smooth and, well, well, looking smooth and everything. Awesome starting to cramp that's right. how much I drunk oh no way there was no time yeah I just it's used to it. full on course isn't it it's... yeah I need to get used to fueling because I took a gel yeah this is carb drink had one sip and I thought I was going to throw up right just because I couldn't breathe after um I need to practice that yeah and, and how yeah. was the bike going bike was ideal perfect I was actually feeling like i was going quite quick downhill for yeah once. i did i went round and got some bits of you just to sort of uh do the tacker skills for you and a uh, little bit so you could play it back and just have a look but massive improvements yeah. and um oh, i was stuck i couldn't get out the saddle on the last lap right my quads where i was just i had no fuel in right i didn't realize how fast you'd got so apologies. <laughs> Dad's underestimated. I did. I have apologised on here it's as well. I think like that. Because I'm normally racing bony, and he's miles ahead. Oh, I actually p p took you up a level. There's a little commentary of just saying all that racing you've done with Tom Pickcock and Matthew Van der Poel, and <laughs> Walt has uh, lifted you up to this level of never, a first Goric win. There never we are. get praise from the Dad Rocket. So you're going to win a trophy that you've made now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think I think I've done a yee -haw. I heard that yee -haw. Well, come oh, on then. Full effort. Right, look at come him. on, get on with it, I woman. Know. No, I'll do it later. I feel like I'm really not there. <laughs> Too much pressure. Four flights, Giorgio Coppola. Woo! Giorgio! There's my trophy. That you made yourself. I made this at work. <laughs> Team wait, heads. wait, wait, no, 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 pass me the camera, pass, face... Cheryl, pass, pass me the camera, <laughs> yee <Yeehaw. laughs>
<laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm gonna feel your reaction, not me saying it. Don't you pressure me, Dad? Put the fucking camera too pressured. Right too pressured. I tell you what, an extra ten minutes is killer. My legs are Shell City right now. Look at my eyes. Oh god. Yeah, they were really red actually. Yeah. When, when I was it's all like the the dust and stuff. Do you know what is nice? I'm going home. My bike's still clean. Mm. What? 10 minutes to get home. Oh nice. yeah. Nice. Lunch time. Yeah. That's the sort of sound I wanted to hear from you, Rocket. Lack of what what's the word? Lack of huh? Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. I wanted more enthusiasm from you but what a day to be alive the sun is shining i've bloody won a bike race ignore the shades the rocket sail looks and stupid and the snot yeah. yeah the rocket sail looks stupid but i feel like someone has poured a tub of dirt in my left eye and it is so bloodshot that i'd scare you all away so i've put them on but the rocket was so inspired and motivated by her man's stellar performance that she fancied a ride so uh, yeah here we are no, actually the reality george is you were like it's a mega day we should be out on the bikes yeah we well no to walk my lunch down no i said my lady needs some vitamin d <laughs> <laughs> so we're out we're riding rocket give me three words to describe the stellar performance I put in today. Oh. Double. Yeehaw! <laughs> That's only two words. No, She's not. I think I, I'm abbreviating yeehaw like yeah. Oh. Dash half. Oh. Yeah. See, she's smarter than me. I didn't get that. Oh. I've told her, take it easy on me though. No bakery stops, but can you believe we've done a bike race, we're home and I'd only just be starting a cyclocross race. The rocket is mind blown by it. Just to add, before anyone comments, the rocket's just informed me to get vitamin D. The sun needs to be on your skin. We are totally covered up. So we're getting no vitamin D. Do not take advice from Giorgio Capoda Cycling. <laughs> but what we are getting is bloody enjoyment and tired legs the rocket is tired <laughs> it's, been a while. it's been a while she ain't trained much yeah. we're getting her ready for the next goric honestly what a day ignore the eye it looks like the rocket's poked me in it i need to i think i need to like bathe it or something but there's my little gold plaque for today if carlsberg did sundays this is the one the rocket is <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know if I can. Oh, look at that headband. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I can share that. I'm I'm tracking my calories at the moment and I'm trying to be a better human and fuel better, but oh. you in a racing you can't have cake. When can you have cake? Alright then, one little treat. Mm. Is it good? Mm. I've told Sarah we need to change. She is the problem. The George, I'm not the problem. Look, that's my leftover cake from yesterday because I didn't finish it because I got full, I left it. All right, don't You're... throw me under the bus. I had a cake yesterday. Yeah. Okay, I can't control wait, myself. Wait, wait, wait. Not only cake, you had a brookie, say cookie base brownie with peanut butter in. You finished that, then you had a protein yogurt, and then you had a bag of popcorn. Yes, I felt like I needed fueling for today. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm working on it though, genuinely, and I'm, I'm tracking through my fitness pal. I did say in the last video, I'm going to go into why, but I feel like it's a little bit of a deserved treat. And that is a wrap. Absolutely mega day, mega race, super pleased with the result. And there's a lot of stuff that I can take from that and build on now. Being that the first race, just gain more experience, uh, build more confidence. Like, absolutely wicked. 
but I will step up to expert for the next Gorick in a couple of weeks' time. The reason why I went sport is because that is technically my category, and I got a bit of grief from it from the Mossa boys, but I genuinely didn't know how I was going to perform on the day, whether I was going to be an abs- absolute hopeless or I was going to perform well, and I actually probably had one of my best races this year, or, well, including last year as well. So I'm super pleased with that. Got a yeehaw from the Rocket. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Can't put the camera on her. She is. Are you uncamera worthy? Yeah, because I just had a shower. Yes, she's uncamera worthy. She is clothed, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed the video. First mountain bike race and my first ever mountain bike win. So fingers crossed for more to come. And I'll catch you in the next bit. Oh, wait, no. Thanks to dad for the commentary. Top man Dell on the commentary again. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video. Yeehaw! <laughs>